The cholera emergence has been reported in the counties of Trukana, Baringo, West Pokot, Isiolo, Kilifi, Kisumu and Tana River. The epidemic has hit 35 villages in Siolo County, with Tana River being the most affected, with cases reported in 42 villages. A total of 247 cases was reported in Bura sub-county of Tana River County since the 5th of May. The pain of dehydration, stomachache, diarrhea and vomiting has been the portion for 78 men, women and children. For days now, they have been treating the symptoms of cholera that is largely caused by consumption of contaminated food or water. For the residents of Madogo in Tana River County, they are the victims of floods that submerge their homes and most importantly, their toilets and sanitation services. Even though the floods have subsided, the aftermath is haunting them. The infection rate is rising and given the high contagious nature of the disease, the patients have to be secluded and screening done to protect lives. We have set up a, a place in Hola where the culture testing is taking place but also we get support from Garissa from time to time. Uh, county, the county has uh, come up with interventions to address this, uh, of course in collaboration with other development partners. At least 64,000 people had been affected by the floods in Tana River County. Over 12,000 people had been displaced into camps, their homes submerged, and now dependent on food aid. For some camps, the Kenya Red Cross was supplying clean water from temporary treatment camps, but not enough for everyone. We are experiencing this in almost the whole of Madogo, but the worst hit villages or uh, areas are uh, Bulavango, uh, Koda, uh, Karatasi, and Madogosi. Cholera manifests within 12 hours and 5 days after consumption of contaminated foods or fluids. It can kill within hours if not treated from complications that come with dehydration. Some get to go citizen weekend.